Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jacob, Last Stop Waterfowl Outdoors. Hope everybody's having a great evening tonight, guys. Uh, I'm excited tonight. I wanted to share this with you. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we did a video right here on our YouTube channel that uh, many of you uh, came across probably when you were following us and you subscribed to the channel. You saw that we did a video recently from the Louisiana Outdoor Expo in Gonzales, Louisiana. And we really had a good time when we went down there to the expo this year. Um, that was the first inaugural expo that they had for the Louisiana Outdoor Expo at Lamore Dixon, um, which is different than the Louisiana Sportsman Expo. So I just want to make that clear. A lot of people thought that was the Louisiana Sportsman Expo, and it was not actually. That is going to be held in June, from what I'm understanding, um, of this year in 2022. So Two different shows, but we went out, we visited at the show, and we met a lot of awesome vendors. Um, guys that were right here in Louisiana, very, very talented vendors that uh, make, you know, either hunting supplies or fishing supplies for the outdoorsmen and uh, and really creative, some, some great companies. But I love, if you follow the channel, you know that I love highlighting companies right here in Louisiana. And uh, <clears throat> we came across a booth that we ended up meeting a guy um, by the name of Mr. Ross Wager. And he has, with you know, right now it's fishing time, guys. We're out of hunting season. Uh, and what Ross specializes in is hand-tied saccolate jigs. And going back years ago where I learned how to fish with my grandfather, saccolate fish, or what we called growing up, white perch fishing. Um, you know, I've always saccolate fished or white perch fished since I've been a little boy with my grandfather. And that's something that I still hold near and dear to my heart. Um, so I still love sharing those experiences with my sons and fishing here in South Louisiana for Sacolay. So I came across Ross's booth at the Louisiana Outdoor Expo, and I was just blown away by his products because he offers, you know, something that not everybody does, which is hand-tied Sacolay jigs. And what I mean by hand-tied hand Sacolay jigs, I'll show you guys tonight. Because what I did, guys, is I placed an order with him when I got back home, um, and I got him in tonight. So I'm going to open this package with you guys tonight to show you what I'm talking about. But I'm telling you, if you're into pan fishing, whether it's brim, sockele, or bass fishing, he uh, he makes some pretty unique hand-tied jigs right here in Louisiana out of Opelousas, Louisiana. So go check him out at wagerbaits.com. They have a huge social media presence on uh, on TikTok and also Instagram and Facebook, the normal social media things. But his TikToks are amazing. I have been watching him now for the last two weeks since we got back from the show. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this, guys, while I'm talking. So he gets on late at night. He, he does this full time. This is his full time job. He's made it his career um, and he's been doing it about six years from what I can understand. Really down to earth guy, but his TikToks at night, he gets on live TikToks and he goes and he will fill orders, have orders coming in. And he has a extremely low following from all across the United States of uh, people placing orders with him for a Louisiana made product right here in our, our great state of Louisiana. So pretty awesome. I'm always for supporting guys that are right here in Louisiana first and foremost. And then, you know, we expand out from there for like other products, but yeah, this is it, guys. I just pulled it out of the package right here, and I placed an order with Ross for about a dozen or so hand-tied jigs, and you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and open up the little Ziploc bag. The ones that I placed, I like fishing a light jig. This is a 132nd ounce jig. Um, I just I have always been taught that a lighter jig by my grandfather and some of the best sackleye fishermen out there has always been a good thing. So I've always fished with a lighter jig for the most part, especially down here in South Louisiana when we're fishing shallow water. So, yeah, guys, this is this is a shot of it right here. Um, let's see if you can see it. You can see Wager Bates. He has his emblem there. And this is your traditional blue and chartreuse. But this is hand-tied jigs, guys, if you can see the quality in this thing right here. Painted heads, good hook on them. Once again, 132nd ounce weight is what I ordered all of these in. So you got a blue and chartreuse there. We got a silver, pink, and chartreuse, which is one of my favorite colors, kind of like a uh, kind of like a popsicle color if you fish the soft plastics, um, you know, jig colors. We also have wow, this one I like a lot. This is a uh, this is a purple and pink, and it's got that that pop in the middle of the purple. I'm not sure what he calls them. I'm not real familiar yet with all the uh, names he calls them. 
Uh, but if you go to his website, he has them numbered and everything that's stock. He will have it listed on the website. So typical blue and chartreuse. Good look at it there, guys. Blue and chartreuse. We have a, I think this is a June bug and chartreuse I ordered right here. So this is your June bug and chartreuse. There you go. Get the camera to focus on it. Wager baits. And then this is a popular color. I should have ordered more of these, but I like this color a lot. Uh, some people may call it firecracker in a soft plastic, but it's the red, white, and blue. Got your patriotic uh, colors right here. But this is a this is a great color in the Chaffalaya Basin Spillway, um, Lake Verrett area, all those areas that I like to fish a lot. Um, you know that firecracker color in a, in a, is really uh, popular and it's really a good color, guys. So yeah, I'm impressed. I have to say. Um, Ross, thank you so much, man. If you're watching the channel tonight and you see this video, come across the video, thank you so much for getting this out to me. As many orders as he has coming in right now, he had said his average wait time uh, for an order was about two weeks, and he got these to me within about a week or, or even less than that, guys. So I'm, I'm telling you, if you're into pan fishing, he has pan fishing. Uh, he has uh, bully bugs, I think he calls them, which is a brim fishing bait that he hand ties. For the kids, if they don't like fishing with crickets, don't like fishing with worms, go check out the bully bugs uh, or bluegill bugs, I think he calls them. And that's a pretty neat thing that's unique that I've never seen before. Um, that you could They could fish on their cork in the place of worms or crickets. Also, some hand-tied, you know, hair-tied bass jigs as well, Calcutta jigs with a blade, which is similar to a chatterbait. Just unique, man. You don't see a lot of hand-tied stuff like this. Uh, down here in our area a whole lot. I mean, they got guys that do it for fly tying and stuff like that, but not too many that I've seen doing the hand-tied saccolate jigs um, with the hand, the quality that I see right here from Wager Baits. So go check out my boy Ross Wager at Wager Baits, guys. It's wagerbaits.com. Check them out on TikTok if you guys are on TikTok. Um, also, Facebook and Instagram. Let them know that Last Stop Waterfowl, you saw it here first. You heard about them if you're not familiar with them. And you can also subscribe to the channel right here, guys, because we will have new items from Louisiana-based companies as well as other products that we like from other companies across the United States. When we see a product, we're going to want to share it with you. We want to get it out to you, and we want to share it with you so you can have a great experience in the outdoors. So if you don't mind, you like the video, smash that subscribe button right here if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Give us a like. We really appreciate it. And you can also follow us on social media right here on our YouTube channel, but also on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, guys. So until next time, this is Jacob with Last Stop Waterfowl Outdoors. Y'all take care and have a good evening.